Hey everybody, it's Monday. I'm Matthew Laria, and you're watching the Faith for Life broadcast. Let's pray and release faith over today's broadcast, and then we're gonna get right into the Word. Father, we do thank you again today, Lord, for your Word. Lord, we ask you today for revelation of it. We ask you today for grace and help to receive it, to put it into practice, and to see it work in our lives, and we do thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, all this week on the broadcast, we're going to be doing a series of teachings entitled, God Wants Me Well. And in this teaching, we're going to be examining the question, is healing the will of God? Is healing the will of God for you? Is healing the will of God for me? And here's the thing, friend, anytime you need to receive healing in your body, you first of all must be convinced that healing is God's will for your life. You got to get convinced that God wants you well. You know, we're supposed to receive our healing through our own faith. And Hebrews 11.1 1 says that faith is confident expectation and faith is being convinced and friend, you cannot confidently expect that God will heal you if you're not convinced that He wants you well and that healing is His will for your life. But when you do get convinced that God wants you well and that healing is His will for your life, then you can confidently expect that He will do that in your life, that He will heal your body in the name of Jesus. So I want to start today's broadcast by reading a scripture in Matthew chapter 8, verse 2, and you'll see right here in this verse that God wants you well. In Matthew chapter 8, verse 2, it says this, And behold, there came a leper to Jesus and worshipped him, saying, Lord... If you will, you can make me clean. Verse 3 says, And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Now I want to read that to you out of the Phillips translation. It says this, The leper says, If you want to, you can make me clean. Jesus stretched out his hand and placed it on the leper saying, of course I want to be clean. And at once he was clear of the leprosy. You see, friend, God's attitude about healing is of course I want to. That leper came to Jesus and he was convinced that Jesus could heal him, but he wasn't convinced that Jesus wanted to heal him. And Jesus' response was, of course I want to. And friend, many people are in that same place in their lives. They're convinced that God can heal anybody of anything, but they aren't convinced that God wants to heal everybody of everything. They aren't convinced that God wants to heal them. And so here's the first thing we need to lay hold of. God always wants to heal. I want to say that to you again. God always wants to heal. What is his attitude about healing? His attitude about healing is of course I want to. <laughs> this is this is who I am. This is what I do. Of course I want to heal you. And friend, let those words take root on the inside of you today. Of course I want to heal you. God is saying the same thing to you and me today. Now, many believe that sometimes God doesn't want to heal. That sometimes in some people's lives, God doesn't want to heal. And friend, this is a lie. This is a falsehood. God always wants to heal. Healing is what is pleasing to the Lord. Healing is what God likes. 
It's what he desires. It's what he prefers. You know, in Psalm 35, verse 27, it says this, Let the Lord be magnified, which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And if you look up that word prosperity in the Hebrew, the definition of it, one of the definitions of it actually means health. And so you could read that verse like this, let the Lord be magnified, who has pleasure in, is pleased with, delights in, and wills the health of his servant. God takes pleasure in the health of his servant. Healing is pleasing to the Lord. Healing is what God likes to do. Healing is what God desires for his people. It's what he prefers for his people. Now in John chapter 8 verse 26, Jesus said this. He said, I always do those things that please him. He said, I always do those things that are pleasing to the Father. And one thing you see in Jesus' life and ministry is that he healed everywhere he went. Let me read you a few verses. In Matthew 9, 35, it says this, Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. In Matthew 4, 24, it says this, They brought unto him all sick people that were taken with divers, diseases, and torments, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, and those that had the palsy, and he healed them. In Matthew 12, 15, it says, Great multitudes followed him, and he healed them all. In Luke 4.40, it says this, Now when the sun was setting, all they that had any sick with divers diseases brought them unto him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Now why is Jesus doing all of this healing? Jesus healed all the time everywhere. Why, why is he doing this? Well, he said, I always do those things that please him. I always do those things that please the Father. And so if he's he doing all this healing, then it's obvious that healing is pleasing to God. Healing is pleasing to the Father. If it wasn't pleasing to the Father, Jesus wouldn't have been doing it all the time because he said, I only do what pleases the Father. And then he goes and starts healing everywhere and starts healing everybody. Come on, friend, this proves it that healing is pleasing to the Lord. Healing is what God likes. Healing is what God desires. Healing is what God wants for you. Healing is what God wants for me. In Luke chapter 9, verse 6, it says that the disciples went through the towns preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. Come on, why would they do that? Because healing is pleasing to God. Healing is what He likes. Healing is what He prefers for your life. It's what He prefers for my life. Now, a lot of people have made this issue of healing. They've turned it into a doctrinal issue. They've turned it into a theological issue that we discuss and debate. Is healing really the will of God or is it not the will of God? And people in seminaries and people in, in uh, Bible colleges will sit and debate and discuss this and people on the internet will argue about it and, and get angry and upset about it. But friend, I want you to hear this truth. When you truly get to know the Lord, when you truly get to know who He is, it'll become so clear to you that healing is always the will of God and that God always wants to heal. I want to say that to you again. When you truly get to know the Lord 
And when you truly get to know who he is, it'll become so clear to you that healing is always the will of God and that God always wants to heal. And I want to encourage you, don't make this just a a doctrinal issue. Don't make this just a theological issue. God is a knowable person. He is a knowable being. And so when it comes to healing, let's ask these two questions. Well, who is God and what does he like? In regards to healing, who is he and what does he like? He's a noble being, just like you are. Just like there are some things you like and some things you don't like. Just like there are some things that you're for and some things you're against, God is the same way. He is a noble being. And so let's ask these two questions. Who is he in regards to healing? And what does he like in regards to healing? And come on, let's not speculate. And let's not answer those questions based off of an experience that you've had. Let's go to the word and let's answer those questions. Who is God and what does he like? You know, when you're talking about the will of God, that's what you're talking about. If you look up that word will, you're talking about what God likes. You're talking about what pleases the Lord. You're talking about what he desires or what he prefers. And friend, here's the thing. If you will just get to know the person, if you'll just get to know the Lord for who he is and what he likes and what he doesn't like, so many of these so-called doctrinal issues will get settled because you will know who the person is. You'll know who God is. And that's what you're going to find out this week on the broadcast, and you're seeing it some already. When you find out who God is, you're going to find out that He is a God who heals. And when you find out from the word, what does God like?, you're going to find out that God takes pleasure in the health of his people. You're going to find out that God likes healing, that God desires healing for your life. God desires healing for my life. And God does not like it when his people are broken down with sickness and disease in their bodies. Our God is a healing God and healing is his will for your life and God likes healing for your life and he desires for you to be well and he wants you to be healed in your body. God wants you well. And in fact, Fred, I want you to say that with me today as we're closing the broadcast. God wants me well. Come on, say it again. God wants wants me well. And so don't make this a doctrinal discussion. Let's get to know the person. Let's ask the questions. Who is God and what does he like when it comes to healing? And if we'll discover who he is, and if we'll get to know the person and what he likes, the answer to this question, is healing the will of God? We'll answer that question just by getting to know the person. This is good news, isn't it? Now, as we're closing today's broadcast, friend, I want to remind you of these three things. Number one, God always wants to heal. Number two, healing is pleasing to God. It's what he likes. It's what he desires. It's what he prefers. And then number three, when you truly get to know the Lord, When you truly get to know who he is, it'll become so clear to you that healing is always the will of God and that God always wants to heal. Let's pray. Father, Lord, we thank you that healing is your will for our lives. And Lord, we're asking you all this week on the broadcast to help us become more convinced that healing is your will for our lives. Help us to get rooted in that truth that our God wants us well. And Father, we thank you this week on the broadcast that any lies that the enemies tried to deposit on the inside of us about healing and about healing being your will for our lives, we thank you that those lies will be uprooted and we thank you that the truth of your word 
will take deep roots in our hearts and get deeply rooted in our hearts. And by the end of this week, we will be so convinced that healing is your will for our lives and that our God wants us well. And Father, we do thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Now, don't forget to come back tomorrow for Tuesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast, and we're going to continue this series, God Wants Me Well. We'll see you then.